First this evening, panic on an airplane when oxygen masks suddenly dropped down to passengers on a flight headed to Houston. Our Matt Doherty is live at Bush Airport tonight. Matt, this was totally unexpected. I wonder what United has to say about this. Well, and they are confirming that something did go wrong during that flight, but they'll only say that it was a mechanical issue having to do with the plane's air pressurization. Chances are this will likely never happen to you. But it happened to this couple returning home from a wedding in New Orleans over the weekend, and it was terrifying. I tried to stay calm, but really deep down I was kind of like, man, like, just want to get back to our kids and get back home safely. So. Carol London says the plane had reached cruising altitude, and the flight attendants had just started beverage service when suddenly the oxygen mass dropped. Everyone kind of was stunned, and they booked it back to the back of the plane. And we didn't hear anything else. I guess they sat down, but we didn't hear an announcement or anything like that. Everyone was just kind of looking around, wondering what to do. London says the passengers waited about five minutes. And then they said, okay, put everyone put your oxygen mask on. And um, at first that was all they told us. And then the, the captain came on and said, or the pilot, he said, you know, we're going to get to a cruising uh, or safe cruising altitude. And that was about all we knew. We didn't really know anything else. While this was happening, London says there was a man in the lavatory. He thought he was having a heart attack. I was speaking with him at the baggage claim and he thought he was having a heart attack because there was just no oxygen in the plane. And because he went back to his seat and he was holding his chest and him and his wife were, you know, probably kind of scared. And all of a sudden the mass dropped down and that's when they knew it wasn't him having a heart attack, but it was the oxygen. There was just no oxygen in the plane because it wasn't pressurized right. He says the passengers were able to remove their masks once the plane descended to around 10,000 feet. But their nightmare flight wasn't finished even after the plane landed in Houston. Passengers ready to get off the plane had to wait even longer as sirens went off and vapor filled the cabin. London says the cabin pressure had to stabilize before they were allowed to deboard. Now United says it will be offering financial compensation to all those passengers who were on the flight. They also tell me that the plane has been checked. It is now back in service. Back to you. So Matt, do we know how much those passengers will be compensated? Yeah, well, they're actually going to be getting uh, travel vouchers. Each one of those is valued at $150 toward future travel on board United flights in the future. Back to you. Thank you, Matt.